Good morning, students. Today, we're gonna to be learning about magnetism. Are you ready? We're gonna learn about magnets, what they are, and how we use them. Plus, did you know magnets have poles? A north and a south pole? It's gonna be really awesome. And then, of course, the magnetic field. Did you know a substance that has the physical property of magnetism can feel that magnet long before it actually touches it? This is gonna be cool. Are you ready to learn about magnets? Let's do this. Magnets. A magnet will pull some metals toward itself. Metals that contain iron, cobalt, and nickel are magnetic. A magnet will pull them. They have the physical property of magnetism. Are you ready for this adventure? <laughs> Let's learn about magnets. Magnets are everywhere. We first see them in navigation. Magnets were first used in navigation. Magnets always point north and south. Refrigerator. The seal around the refrigerator door has magnets that help keep the door closed. A shower curtain. Magnets help give the shower curtain weight and attaches to the tub. Did you know that magnets were everywhere? And electric door locks. Electric door locks, windshield wipers, and the side view mirror adjustments all have components of magnets and how they work. Magnets are everywhere, and these are just a few of the examples. Magnet poles. Magnets have two poles, a north and a south pole. The end that points north is the magnet's north pole. The end that hangs south is the magnet's south pole. And in this, this is all in relation to our planet. The Earth is actually a very big magnet. The Earth has a north and south pole just like magnets. Similar magnetic poles repel and opposite poles are attracted to one another. So if we look at the diagram below, we see that when north and the south poles are together, they are attracted to one another. And then when we see the south and south pole together, they will actually repel each other. Magnets and their magnetic fields. Every magnet has a magnetic field around it. To help you visualize this, imagine a line of force running from both ends of the magnet, north and south. Earth's magnetic field causes the needle of a compass to point north and south. Hmm, so what does that look like? This is what it looks like. Here we have the magnetic field. We see the north and the south pole. We see where it is attracted and where it repels. That's pretty cool. So if a substance has the physical property of magnetism, they will feel that magnet long before they actually ever touch it. Earth's magnetic field works in the same way. You have the North Pole and the South Pole, and you see how objects that are magnetic will feel that attraction or that repulsion when they come to the different points near our planet. Okay, here's a quiz for you. Number one, what is magnetic material made of? A, wood, hmm, B, metal, hmm, C, plastic. What do you think? If you said metal, you are correct. Good job. What item would have the physical property of magnetism? Hmm, let's look at this list. A, an iron nail, B, a wooden chair, or C, a marker. What do you think? If you said iron nail, you are correct. Good job. And the last question. Are all metals magnets? Yes or no? Hmm, what did I say at the beginning of this presentation? What did Miss Bright say? Oh, of course, no. 
Not all metals have the property of magnetism. Great job. Congratulations, you did an awesome job on your quiz. You know about magnets. I'm so proud of you. Until next time.